Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, we've had some nice weather this fall. It just didn't feel like fall all that much until the cold front finally came through on Friday night. Of course, that had the showers and thunderstorms with it, along with a tornado. And I'll talk more about that here in just a moment. But behind the front, finally, October weather is here, and it's going to be sticking around for the foreseeable future. Highs today were generally 70 to 75, and tomorrow will be in the same ballpark. A little warmer, though, for Wednesday and Wednesday night. That'll be the one time frame in which uh, temperatures are above average, and then the next cold front will knock temperatures down for the end of the week. And live first warning Doppler, of course, is all dry. Next chance of any rain won't be in here until late Wednesday night. And that's just a small chance. The next chance of significant rain, unfortunately, will be unfolding later in the weekend. But if you're watching Friday night, we broke into programming a little after 8 o'clock with a tornado warning for northern Spencer County. And indeed, National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado to the southeast of Gentryville at around 8.10. Now, here's Lincoln City, there's Lincoln State Park, Highway 231, and Santa Claus. And this rotation, which was a tornado, actually went over Santa Claus, but fortunately it weakened and it was only on the ground for about a mile. But it did this damage. A barn to the southeast of Gentryville was knocked off of its foundation and pretty much destroyed, as you can see there. A, a tree was also knocked down on one of the homes uh, in that area, but it was over a fairly rural part there of northern Spencer County, just south of Lincoln State Park. Uh, no injuries reported. Here are the specifics on the tornado. Again, an EF-1. It was on the ground for four minutes with 90-mile-per-hour winds. It was 50 yards wide. And the mile, uh, the track was 1.1 uh, miles. So we are into our secondary severe weather season. And indeed, we've had our first tornado. Hopefully, that'll be about it. No severe weather in sight at this point, even though we do have some rain and thunder on tap for later in the weekend. Clear skies right now on our roofclaim.com tower camera. Clever Carey Blue Bridge looking nice and blue this evening. And our Superior Ag Tower camera looking down on the Evansville Riverfront with the temperature already down to 51. Winds are calm, and it looks like temperatures right now for the most part, upper 40s to low 50s. We're going to wind up in the mid-40s by daybreak tomorrow morning. Not quite as chilly as the past few nights when we were low 40s last night. Then Sunday morning, we were right at 40 degrees. So uh, not quite as cool, but still in that same ballpark as a slow warm-up. But continues. But pretty quiet weather pattern across most of the central and eastern U.S. There is some scattered showers up in New England, but high pressure is slowly sliding to the east. Warm air moving in on the back side of that high. And a little sliver of mid to high level cloud cover that's going to be pushing through the tri state tomorrow from west to east, but it will not be producing any rain. So, future tracker for the overnight hours keeps us clear. Uh, temperatures again mid 40s when you head out the door, so you probably need a jacket on the way to work and school. And then sunshine giving way to increasing clouds from west to east, and I think temperatures will be a lot like today, running about 70 to 75, forecasting 74 through the uh, Evansville metro. And then skies clear as we head into a tomorrow night, which will be a little warmer, be around 50 for the low by daybreak on Wednesday, which will be a mostly sunny, breezy, and warm day. Highs will be in the mid-70s on Wednesday, and then Wednesday night will be warm also. Upper 50s as the cold front approaches. The evening will be dry, but overnight, scattering of light showers coming in. This is 3 a.m. So rain chances running at about 20 percent. Maybe a rumble of thunder. That would be about it. And by sun up Thursday, most of the showers are exiting to the east. We see some clearing working in as temperatures just drop back to normal for the end of the week. So overnight tonight, clear skies 43 to 45. And then Increasing mid to high level clouds tomorrow, but still a nice day with a high of 71 to 74. 70 forecast, mostly sunny, breezy, and warm on Wednesday, 77. Then a slight chance for a shower, mainly before sun up on Thursday morning, 69 with some clearing. Another weak front coming through Friday with some spotty showers, but it should be good weather, much better than last Friday night for week 10 of Home Team Friday. The high 67. Saturday should be the nicer weekend day. Increasing clouds. We could see a few showers by Saturday night, 68. Then Sunday and Monday are weather aware days as the front kind of stalls across the area. And that's going to keep some waves of scattered showers and thunder showers rolling on through. Don't think Sunday will be a washout, but right now a better than 50 50 chance of rain at times. All right. Thank you, Wayne.